Welcome to Leslie Gulch. We are Jake and Emily, the two roaming souls. And today we want to invite you to this extremely remote area in Eastern Oregon. This region was formed inside an ancient caldera. The landscape we see today is the result of past volcanic eruptions, followed by millions of years of erosion. Intricate layers of ash, basalt, rhyolite, and other rocks form the varied terrain. Getting to the Leslie Gulch wilderness is not an easy task, and it's rather far from nearly any other bustling towns in the state of Oregon. Really, Boise, Idaho is the closest city, but it's still about 80 miles and it will take you nearly two plus hours to get here. No matter which direction you're coming from, it's a long, bumpy road with few amenities. Expect lots of washboard roads and likely some ruts, potholes, and small stream crossings. In dry conditions, all you need is a two-wheel drive vehicle with preferably high clearance. But in wet conditions, 4x4 and high clearance may be essential. Here are our top things to do in Leslie Gulch. Drive the Leslie Gulch Scenic Road. These jagged rock formations line the road, creating a stunning canyon with changing scenery around every turn. The tallest and most dramatic parts of the gulch are around Upper Leslie Gulch Trailhead and just past the Juniper Gulch Trailhead. So don't be in such a hurry to get to the end that you forget to enjoy the scenery along the way. Get out to explore the Owyhee Reservoir. The Owyhee Reservoir is 52 miles long and is a can't miss destination for your visit. This man-made lake is the perfect setting for boating, kayaking, fishing, swimming, and more. The Leslie Gulch Road essentially comes to an abrupt stop at the boat ramp. This massive lake is certainly best explored with a motorized boat, but if you have a kayak or paddleboard, it's still worth exploring this small part of the lake. We recommend heading north from the boat ramp. There are some enticing rock formations a mile up on the east side of the lake that make for a good destination and turnaround point. Go for a hike. The best way to get deeper into each side gulch is to explore on foot. Here are some of the popular trails in Leslie Gulch. Juniper Gulch Trail. This trail offers dramatic rock formations right from the start and finishes with a short steep climb to an incredible viewpoint. Upper Leslie Gulch Trail. The first mile has the most impressive rock towers, but then it kind of mellows out a bit. Dago Gulch Trail. This trail is the easiest trail in the area, following a wide flat Jeep road, but probably our least favorite because the scenery flattens out pretty quickly. Timber Gulch Trail. This trail is a little hard to find at the beginning, but worth it if you are more of the adventurous type. Do note the trails in the area do tend to be overgrown. Therefore, we kind of recommend wearing pants. Also keep a watch out for rattlesnakes as they do tend to like this area. Camp at Slocum Creek Campground. If you made it all the way out here, then we strongly encourage you stay for a few days. The only place to camp in Leslie Gulch is Slocum Creek Campground. There are two vault toilets and 12 first come first serve campsites. They're completely free, but they do go quickly in peak season. Each site has a fire ring, picnic table, and shade structure. The campground offers views of the surrounding rock formations and is a convenient 0.2 miles from the boat ramp. It's such a beautiful and unique place to camp. However, the campsites are pretty close together, so at times it feels like you need to whisper at camp. And summer visitors should be prepared for very little shade outside of the shade structures. And a bonus adventure if you're already in the area is to visit Sucker Creek, which will likely already be a stop for people coming from Boise, Idaho. This area has scenery that rivals Leslie Gulch, plus a campground with 18 sites and tree coverage. It's certainly worth an extra day or two. For more information, check out our website, tworoamingsouls.com. We provide more details about the Leslie Gulch Wilderness area and nearby Sucker Creek. Thanks for coming along on another Two Roaming Souls adventure. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more travel and adventure content.